President and CEO Ivo Vatna. Earlier today, a good discussion with the board of directors, and we have decided on a new direction to transform our production in the US towards uh, packaging materials. And um, one part of that means that uh, we will not move forward with the uh, planned and original carton board conversion in uh, Escanaba. And uh, let me just pause there for a second and give some perspective, because we have worked long and hard over the past 18 months to find a solution. I think you, you heard me repeatedly talking about this over the past quarterly calls. And, uh, you know, we have reviewed many different scopes. We looked at uh, different ways of getting this together. We also reusing a bigger part of the uh, existing assets. We also looked at the different ways of how we can phase this out over different uh, period of time. Now, the conclusion is uh, pretty clear that the um, investment level remains a uh, massive challenge. And uh, I can say that um, the um, investment level needed, they are much, much higher versus our ingoing projections. It's, uh, it's, it's very reasonable to assume that uh, this uh, uh, grant or the uh, discussions we've had in Michigan State uh, is off the table. Um, and, uh, you know, we are very thankful for you know, all of the support and all of the, uh, yeah, let's call it very, very good uh, discussions we've had with uh, Michigan State over the years. But uh, I think the base assumption is that this is uh, off the table with our new plan. Just checking. Thank you very much. Eskenawa is uh, around 100 years old, uh, but uh, the, the asset obviously has gone through many different upgrades and transition. E3 is actually the oldest one. Uh, and I think now with some of the uh, changes we've done there, it, you know, it, it, it runs uh, very well towards um, speciality paper, which I already mentioned is a big part of our strategy. E4, that actual machine is from 1982. So it's not a uh, very old machine at all. Uh, I think the challenge there is just in terms of what caliber it currently is a sweet spot around. And that's on the lower side. And that's obviously what we are then looking for on how we can increase that uh, waste and then how we can get the basis weights up so we can compete into uh, different grades as I went through. But uh, no. Besides that, because this can be done in different uh, shades of gray, there is no massive, uh, call it investment need on any of those uh, machines. Hello from Upper Michigan and uh, Escanaba area. I'm just looking for your message uh, to the employees, the 800 employees at the Escanaba mill on, on, uh, on this news uh, coming today. No, I can uh, repeat only what I mentioned in the beginning, that, listen, um, we've been so impressed since uh, taking over the Verso assets uh, two years ago. And uh, in many ways, it has exceeded our expectations in so many manners. And I already mentioned how I felt the cultural fit from day one was, you know, hand in a glove. And you look in terms of what competitiveness those assets are and, you know, what results we've been able to produce has just been mind-boggling, if I'm honest, in, in not a very easy market context. Uh, I understand it's a big piece of news today. And uh, I can also say that uh, you know, we are more committed than ever to stay and remain in North America. Uh, this is, uh, I also mentioned this in the beginning, a big part of uh, what Billery would look like. It's uh, at this stage unthinkable to, to view Billery in the future without uh, North America. Uh, we have a new plan now, and we will change the direction. Uh, I'm very confident that this will be a very good uh, play for both the company and also for the Escanaba mill. We saw layoffs last September, some temporary layoffs. Uh, do we see those possible in 2024? No, I think that program we did was on a global scale and uh, it impacted all of our mills. Uh, we tried to solve that in a, in a smart manner uh, for many of the mills through uh, you know, vacancies and looking at the different natural attrition. I think that's the same that goes on for, um, for Escanaba. We have uh, targets that we are looking to, to fulfill and I think we are in good shape for all mills and um, 
that's pretty much the only plan we've had and, and we have on the horizon for doing any kind of changes on our um, global workforce.